हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अक्षिता योर एजुकेटर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज फॉर अपकमिंग सी टेट एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द होल सिलेबस ऑफ द सी टेट एग्जामिनेशन सो वी हैव कम अप विद अ लेक्चर सीरीज वेर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी which was conducted online in shift 1 so before this lecture i have uploaded five lectures based again on the previous year question papers so you can go and watch that from my playlist and the name of the playlist is seated mathematics paper 1 by akshita so detailed solution along with short and smart tricks will be shared to you so that you can solve the question paper with the limited span of time and the confirm target of 30 out of 30 marks will be targeted over here so for this central teacher eligibility test a complete course has been launched for paper 1 and paper 2 and the course has been designed in such a way keeping in mind the pattern and the trends of the questions that can be asked in the examination this complete course has been designed so if you want to get enrolled to the course you can download the global online application from the play store or contact us on this given whatsapp number for the enrollment of the course global online application is available on the play store also from where you can install the application after opening the application you'll find such type of interface where there is an icon named as store icon click on it you'll move to the page called as my courses and in my courses there is search tab where you have to type seated once you'll type seated course along with the fees will be displayed downwards and hence you can get enrolled to the course without any further ado let us begin with the lecture so the first question of today's lecture is in a school there are 96 teachers out of which 38 of the uh, 38 teachers high school classes if 29th of the high school teachers are mathematics teacher then the number of high school teacher who do not teach mathematics are how much is the question so try to understand the question first look here in the given question what they have to told us is there are 96 teachers in a given school okay and out of them out of them 3/8 of the portion of the 98 teachers are teaching the high school classes and the left out teachers and from the remaining left out teachers 2/9 of the high school teachers are the mathematics let us understand the question first that how many teachers are there total there are total 96 teachers and out of this 96 teachers 3/8 of the 96 teachers teaching high school classes these are these these are the teachers who are teaching the high school classes okay so how we can find the teachers teaching high school classes we can find it out by 3/8 of 96 this is the given data so this will give me 12 3s are 36 so the total number of teachers who are teaching the high school classes are 36 okay now what they have given the second statement look at the second statement carefully if 2/9 of the high school teachers are mathematics now we got how many teachers are there of mathematics there are 36 teachers now out of these 36 high school teachers 2/9 Two ninth of the high school teachers are teaching mathematics subject. So, how many mathematics subjects? Sorry, how many teachers are teaching mathematics? Two ninth of thirty six. There are total thirty six teachers who are teaching the high high classes. Okay, higher classes. And out of this thirty six teacher, two ninth of the high high school teachers are teaching mathematics. It means how many teachers are teaching mathematics? Two ninth into thirty six. So, there are total eight teachers. Who are teaching mathematics? Am I right? Yes. Nine fours are thirty six, and four twos are eight. So this will give me total eight teachers who are teaching mathematics. So what is what is the thing that we have to find in the question? We have to find that how many teachers are there who are not teaching mathematics in the high school? So in the how high school, how many teachers are there total? Total thirty six. Out of these thirty six teachers, eight teachers are teaching. mathematics so left amount are the teachers who are who are not teaching mathematics right so 28 teachers are the teachers who are not teaching mathematics i hope you have got the question so there were total 36 teachers total 96 teacher out of which 38 were teaching the high classes higher classes so how many teachers were teaching the higher classes 36 in this 36 data 2/9 of the teachers were teaching mathematics 
we find it find it out over here that eight teachers were those who were not who were teaching mathematics so out of this 36 teachers we if we minus out the eight teachers who were teaching mathematics we'll get the teachers who are not teaching mathematics that is equal to 28 okay so do not get confused moving on to the next question now let's see now the question number two in question number two they have asked us one my one upon two minus 2 by 3 minus 4 by 5 so what will be the answer for the given question okay so what is the answer let us check now 1 upon 2 so what will be the LCM for 3 and 5 the LCM will be 15 so simply I have taught you that you have to find you have to find a common number which is a multiple of both 3 as well as 5 okay the least common multiple over here so how to find it you can simply start writing the table of the larger number so the larger number between 3 and 5 is 5 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 5 4s are 20 okay now in this particular in this particular table 5 is not the number which comes in the table of 3 10 is not the number which comes in the table of 3 but 15 is the number which is coming in the table of 5 as well as in the table of 3 so it is the LCM over here okay so simply I have taken the LCM here 15 so here how will I get 15 by multiplying 3 by 5 3 5s are 15 so if I am multiplying the denominator with the 5 so I have to multiply the numerator also with the 5 so this will give me 5 2s are 10 as well as here 5 3s are 15 so denominator has been multiplied by 5 so numerator will be also multiplied by 3 over here so 5 3s are 15 plus 4 3s are 12 so this will give me 1 by 2 minus 10 minus 2 will give me minus 2 upon 15 so what will be the calculation further calculation is 1 by 2 minus minus 2 by 15 this will give minus minus plus 2 upon 15 so this is this is again we have to take the LCM over here so start reading the table of 15 the larger number so here 15 does not comes in the table of 2 but 30 comes in the table of 2 over here so I will write 30 as the LCM so by multiplying 2 by 15 I am getting 30 so I have to multiply the numerator also by 15 so 15 plus here I am multiplying by 2 to get 30 so numerator also will be multiplied by 2 over here so this will get 15 plus 4 upon 30 so this is 19 upon 30 so 19 upon 30 is the answer to the given question so option number 4 is the correct answer moving on to the next question now here what is the difference between the face value of number 7 in the number 4782 and 32170 we have to find the face value we know the face value is the number itself we have already solved ample amount of questions based upon the face value place value local value and all okay so here number r4782 whether the number is anything we don't have we don't matter over uh, matter what the number is here because we are talking just about the face value and the face value is nothing but the number itself so the face value of 7 in the given number is a 7 only and the face value in the next given number is also again 7 only we have to take the difference of it it means 7 minus 7 is going to be 0 so 0 is the answer for the given question okay we know the concept of face value if you are not able to understand what is face value simply make a uh, thing or make a note of it that the face value is nothing but the number itself okay moving on to the next question which of the following statement is not true for the set of whole numbers so let us go option wise option a is a plus b is equals to b plus a option b is a minus b is equals to b minus a option c a b is equal to b a option d is a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b in bracket b plus c okay for this i'll take an example and then i'll just uh, solve all the options over here let a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 3 i'll just start inserting the values in the given option for option number a a is 2 plus b is 3 is equals to b 3 plus a 2 so this will give me 2 plus 3 is 5 is equals to 3 plus 2 is 5 so this is equal for option number 2 let us check now 2 minus 3 is equals to 3 minus 2 so here I'll get minus 1 is equals to 1 so this is not equal actually this is not equal okay for option number C a into b that is 2 into 3 is equals to 3 into 2 right so this is giving me 6 is equals to 6 this is also equal to okay here 2 plus 3 I'll consider the C as 4 is equals to a is again 2 plus b is 3 plus 
फोर सो टू प्लस थ्री विल गिव मी फाइव फाइव प्लस फोर इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन दिस इज इक्वल्स टू टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर दिस विल गिव मी अगेन नाइन सो नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन बट ऑप्शन नंबर सेकेंड इज नॉट फॉलोइंग फॉर द सेट ऑफ होल नंबर्स सो द ऑप्शन नंबर सेकेंड इज द आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर द सेट ऑफ होल नंबर्स गॉट इट सो मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ वेन आज टू डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ सिक्स रानी हैज डिवाइडेड द नंबर बाय नाइन okay and she got the reminder which is equal to 21 and the reminder as 3 realizing her mistake later she divided the number again by 6 so what is the question and the reminder they have asked us what is the question try to understand they have not given a number okay but they have told us that here that a rani has actually divided the number by 6 she has divided the number let us consider the number which rani divided let us let us consider the number x so rani has divided the number by 6 first okay and rani has sorry sorry actually the thing is rani was asked to divide the number by 6 she was actually asked to divide the number by 6 but she did divide the number by 9 she actually divided the number by 9 but actually what she wanted to do over here she was asked to divide the number by 6 but she actually divided the number by 9 this is her mistake okay and after dividing the number by 9 she got the quotient is equals to 21 so we write the quotient over here okay and she got the reminder is equals to 3 this is the reminder okay so by using this particular data we can find out this number because rani got the question is equals to question is equals to 21 reminder is equals to 3 and we know she divided the number by 9 so we know div dividend is equals to dividend please write the formula dividend is equal to divisor into question plus reminder we know the formula okay so we have to find here dividend we know the divisor divisor is 9 divisor is nothing but the number by which we are dividing the whole number over there okay we are dividing x by 9 so divi 9 will be the divisor and x will be basically the dividend which we have to find it out over here so question is what question is equals to 21 plus reminder we got 3 so answer for this is equals to 21 into 9 will give me 189 and 189 plus 3 will give me 192 so we got the number which rani wanted to divide okay so now we will divide that number with 6 which she actually wanted to divide it but she did not divide okay so 6 divided by 192 this will be equal to 6 3 is our 18 one left Two comes downwards. Six twos are twelve, so zero. Okay. So what is the question that Rani got after dividing the number by six? She got the question is equals to thirty-two, and the reminder is equals to zero. So option number C is the correct answer for the given question. Okay. In this way, we have find out the answer. Okay. If you are not able to understand, please do rewind the video and watch the. solution once again which of the following is a pair of like fractions now we know what are like fraction like fraction it means that the denominator the denominator of the given fraction should be equal the divided divid, sorry denominator of the given fraction should be equal in option number 1 the denominator is 3 and for the other fraction it is 2 so this is not the like fraction this is unlike fraction in option number 2 the denominator for the first one is 2 and for the second one is 8 Similarly, for option number four, this is again an unlike fraction because the denominators are different. But for the option number last, that is option number D, the denominators are equal. That is, four is a denominator, and when the denominator are equal, it is a like fraction. So the correct answer is option number D over here. Moving on to the next question, which of the following number is not a perfect cube? So option one is seven twenty nine, and seven twenty nine is a cube of. We know it is a cube of nine. Thousand is a cube of ten. Ten cube is equals to thousand. Three thirty three is not a cube of any number, but two hundred and sixteen is the cube of six. So nine cube, ten cube, and three cube is the given number, but three thirty three is not cube of any number. So the correct answer for the given question is option number 
third moving on to the next question now shikha went to a brick clean to buy bricks the rate of brick was 2500 rupees for 1000 bricks how many bricks she can buy if the uh, if she has 4000 rupees okay let us try to find the question or and first given data is 2500 rupees for 1000 bricks it means 1000 bricks can be bought with the help of 2500 rupees okay so what will be the cost of what will be the cost of one brick let us find that first so the cost of 1000 bricks is 2500 then what will be the cost of one brick the cost of one brick will be 2500 upon 1000 rupees am i right sorry 1000 upon 2500 will be the cost of one brick it will be the cost of one brick so what i'll get over here this will give me 2020 cancelled out 10 upon 25 and 10 upon 25 is nothing but 2 5 2s are 10 5 5s are 25 2 upon 5 so one brick can be bought in 2 by 5 rupees in 2 by 5 rupees so 4000 bricks can be bought in how much rupees 4000 into 2 by 5 because one brick is costing 2 by 5 so 4000 will cost me 4000 into 2 by 5 so this will give me 1600 so in 4000 rupees 1600 bricks can be bought so the correct answer for the given question is option number b got it so from the given data i have calculated the price of one brick which was 2 by 5 if the cost of one brick is 2 by 5 then the cost of 4000 bricks will be 4000 into 2 by 5 so this will give me 1600 got it moving on to the next question mini told her teacher i am a recta i made a rectangle whose each side is 4 cm which of the following statement is correct let us see the statement a rectangle cannot have equal sides okay this is a correct statement because sorry sorry a rectangle can have all sides equal so this is the wrong statement actually it can have it is not compulsory that the sides of the rectangular uh, rectangle shape should not be equal they can be equal they can be equal okay so the first option is the wrong one because a rectangle can have equal sides they can have equal sides moving on to the second option all the squares are rectangles yes this is also the correct one this is the correct one all the squares can be rectangle but all the rectangles cannot be the square please make the note of this statement they have asked this multiple of times in the previous year question papers that all squares can be rectangle they are rectangle actually but all rectangles cannot be square cannot be square please make a note of this statement okay so this is again a wrong statement moving on to the fourth statement in fourth statement there is a no there is no link there is no link between a square and a rectangle this is also a wrong statement okay because there can be a link between them so which of the following statement is the correct statement over here option number second one is the correct one that is all squares are rectangle is the correct one all squares ka are rectangle is the correct one rest of the other options are wrong okay moving on to the next question now the angles of a triangle are in ratio 4x plus 5x plus 6x that is 4 is to 5 is to 6 what will the measure of the angles of the triangle what is the question that they have given they have given for a particular triangle the given angles are 4 is to 5 is to 6 4 is to 5 is to 6 so can i take this as 4x 5x and 6x yes so take this as 4x the other as 5x and then the left one as 6x yes. so in the given triangle in triangle abc okay in triangle abc the angles are 4x 5x and 6x and the thing that we know here is sum of sum of all angles of triangles all angles of triangles is equals to 180 degree okay so the summation of angle a plus angle b plus angle c will give me 180 degree that is 4x plus 5x 
प्लस सिक्स एक्स विल गिव मी वन एटी डिग्री सो फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स नाइन एक्स नाइन एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स फिफ्टीन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री सो एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री अपॉन फिफ्टीन सो दिस विल गिव मी ट्वेल्व सो एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट सर एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व सो दे हैव आस्कर्स दैट मेजर द एंगल इंडिविजुअली सो एंगल ए इज इक्वल्स टू फोर एक्स सो कैन आई राइट दिस फोर इन टू ट्वेल्व एंगल बी इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव एक्स दिस विल गिव मी फाइव इन टू ट्वेल्व सिमिलरली एंगल सी इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स एक्स दिस विल गिव मी सिक्स इन टू ट्वेल्व दिस विल गिव मी फोर्टी एट ट्वेल्व फाइव जा सिक्सटी डिग्री ट्वेल्व सिक्स जा सेवेंटी टू डिग्री सो द आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज फोर्टी एट डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड सेवेंटी डू सेवेंटी टू डिग्री इज द आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन दैट इज द एंगल ए इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी एट एंगल बी इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड एंगल सी इज इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी एट डिग्री टू सॉल दिस आंसर यू जस्ट हैव टू नो दैट द सम ऑफ ऑल द एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ रागिनी रीचेस द स्टेशन एट टू इन द आफ्टरनून ओके शी इज रीचिंग द स्टेशन एट टू इन द आफ्टरनून दैट इज टू पी एम हियर शी हैज टेकन अ ट्रेन टू अलीगर देर आर फोर डिफरेंट देर आर फोर डिफरेंट ट्रेन देर आर फोर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन फॉर हर दैट इज ट्रेन ए बी सी एंड डी ओके एक्चुअली शी रीच द स्टेशन एट टू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन शी इज एट द station she reached the station at 2 now after after this she have to take a different train and for that she has four different option that is option a is train a option b is train b option c is train c and option d is train d there are four different option okay the train a is going to start at 17 the train b is going to start at 432 The train C is going to start at eighteen thirty, and train D is going to start at nineteen fifteen. Question: What they have asked us here is, which train she should take out of these four trains? Which train she should take so that she can spend minimum time waiting for the train? It means which train she should take so that so that she is going or she is going to spend minimum time. wasting on the station okay so after 2 what does the time that comes after 2 2 it means what what does 2 indicates 2 in the afternoon it means 14 right this is pm 2 in the afternoon it means it is 14 14 so after 14 which is the time closer to 14 after 14 time which is closer to 14 is 17 okay so the minimum time she can spend when she takes train a only so option number a is the correct answer if she is taking train a then only she is going to spend minimum time so if we look at the other option that is 432 432 is actually before 14 pm so this can't be the answer 1830 1830 is less than so it is more than 175 and 1915 is also more than this so this cannot be the option this is the correct answer Moving on to the next question Rita is a ward member of her area she wishes uh, she wishes to create a community room of size 11 feet and 16 feet to lay the tiles on the floor she has four options again 1.5 feet into 1.5 feet 2 feet into 2 feet 2.5 into 2 uh, 2.5 3 feet into 3 feet so which size of tiles she should buy for the community room so that she can lay the tiles without cutting what is the question actually the question is that they have given us the uh, room size in which the rita wants to floor that is 11 into 16 let us calculate the area to calculate the area we know area is equals to 11 into 16 this will give me 176 so the area of the community room is 176 okay now what they have asked us they have given us four different options of the tiles but we have to lay the tiles in such a way that we are not going to cut the tiles and we are going going to floor the whole room so what we are going to do here is simply simply divide all the given options by the area what does it means 176 divide by 1.5 into 1.5 divided by 1.5 into 1.5. So answer is going to come in points again. So this cannot be the answer. 
डिवाइड वन सेवेंटी सिक्स बाई टू इंटू टू इट मीन्स डिवाइडेड बाई फोर टू इंटू टू विल गिव मी फोर सो द आंसर इज गोइंग टू कम इन कंप्लीट होल नंबर सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर इफ यू सी फॉर द अदर ऑप्शन एज वेल If we divide one seventy six by two point five into two point five, the answer is going to come in points. So here again we have to cut the tie. If we divide one seventy six by nine, again the answer is going to come in point. So again here also we have to cut the tie. So only for two into two feet, that is when we divide the given area by four, we don't have to cut the tiles because the answer is not coming in point. It means we don't have to actually cut the tile. So this is the correct answer. Forty four. Okay, moving on to the next question. Miss Ray now divided her students into eight each group of eight each and asked them to record their weights. See, if she further asked the groups to calculate the mean weight of their respective groups. Group A, which consisted of eight students, measured their weights and calculated their mean is equal to thirty eight point two kg. Later on, they realized that the weight of one of the students they recorded is incorrect. Instead of twenty five point nine, they recorded it as twenty nine point five. What will be the correct mean for the group? Okay. To answer this question, first let us understand the question. What they have given is Minu, sorry, the Renu, the teacher has divided her students into eight, into certain groups, and in each group, in each group there are eight students. How many students are there in each group? In each group there are eight students. She said that calculate the weight of each student. first calculate the weight of each student and then calculate the mean that is average of each group the so there were eight students in each group so they calculated their individual weight and then they calculated the mean and the average of each group okay so what they have told her uh, told here is the mean weight for group a now we have to target the group a let us consider this as a group a and in group a there are total 8 students so when they calculated the average weight of all the 8 students it was 38.2 but there was error in this what was the error so out of those 8 student one student weight was one student eight wa weight was 25.9 this was its original weight this was his original weight but instead of 25.9 they recorded 29.5 so there is a error error of how much weight 29.5 minus 25.9 if we do we get the error error of almost i think uh, yes 3.5 kg they actually recorded extra 3.5 kg in the mean or in the average so we have to actually calculate the original average or the original mean without error so how can we do we know the formula for average is equals to sum of observation divided by the total observation so what is the average that they have given here so average so we can calculate the sum is equals to average into total observations That is total number of student. What is the average? Average is equals to thirty-eight point two, and total number of students are eight. So this will give me summation is equals to three zero five point six kg. But this was the summation with the error of error. How much error was of three point five kg? So I'll simply subtract three point five kg out of this summation. I'll get the original summation of all the eight students that is equals to three zero one point three zero two point one kg. Now we'll calculate the average. So average is equals to sum three zero two point one kg divided by total number of students that is eight students. I'll get the average is equals to thirty seven point seven five kg. So after subtracting the error out of the summation, out of the summation, I'm getting the exact sum. That is exact value divided by eight. I'll get the average. So thirty-seven point seven five kg is the exact average or the correct mean of the given group. Okay. Moving on to the next question now. Observe the following patterns and select the next term. What is the pattern that they have mentioned here? If we look at the pattern carefully, they have given us nine minus one upon eight. Okay. Then they have uh, they are actually adding one more one one number to the given number. That is what. they are actually reversing uh, reversing the pattern and adding one more number that is 9 was the first number they have done 9 minus 1 divided by 8 then instead of 1 they have taken here 2 okay and in a uh, 
in 9 they have added one more number after 9 that is 98 the number that comes after 9 is 8 the number that comes after 8 is 7 987 okay the number that comes after 7 is 6 so 9876 okay so what should be the next number that should come here now 9876 was the last so what should be the next number that should come after 6 it should be 5 so what are the numbers that they are subtracting over here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so they will subtract here minus 5 and divide by 8 as it is so what will be the answer that we are getting here 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 so we will get here 1 2 3 4 and 5 as the answer so the correct answer for the given question is option number a right that is 198765 98765 minus 5 minus 5 divided by 8 divided by 8 is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 got it no this is not the answer actually the correct answer is option number fourth that is 98765 minus 5 divided by 8 1 2 3 4 5 got it so this is the next question now Rianshu has a currency note of 10 and 20 she uses two notes of 20 and one note of rupees 10 to form rupees 50 how many other combinations combinations are possible to form the same amount using both the currency notes you can ignore the special arrangement of the currency note what is the question talking about that Rianshu has actually used use two notes of rupees 20 that is one note of rupees 20 the another note of rupees 20 plus the another note of rupees 10 to form rupees 50 okay so how many such possible combination are possible to form rupees 50 is the question so simply what i can do here is 20 rupees plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so this is giving me a combination of how many notes so this is giving me this combination is giving me rupees 50 ultimately so such one more combination is possible so this is the correct answer one okay got it so this is the answer for the given question so 15 questions i have solved out of the first january 2022 paper which was conducted online okay so if you want more such videos you can let me know in the comment section and if you if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and please hit the like button if you are liking the video and let me know in the comment section and subscribe the channel and thank you for watching it share to the maximum people who are preparing for the seated examination have a great day everyone bye thank you